it's Papa John's Trophy semi-final time. We take on the League 1 High Flyers, Plymouth Argyle away from home, who are yet to lose in this competition so far. They are on a very solid run of form with only one loss in their last five games coming against league leaders Sheffield Wednesday. In the league, they sit second in comparison to us sitting towards the bottom in 19th. The stakes are very high today with the chance for either team to reach Wembley. A massive, massive achievement for a team at this level and no doubt both sets of players will be right up for it. We come fresh off the back of a 4-0 loss to ex-manager Michael Duff at home at Wadden Road on Saturday. A very tough one to take after, what's fair to say, an abysmal performance. Can we defy the odds and reach Wembley or will Plymouth Argyle show their class and get to that final? Only time will tell. Let's head down to Plymouth. Right then, so the lineup's out, a few changes. We were just talking for about 10 minutes about why Caitlin Taylor wasn't playing, uh, to then figure out that he was on a suspension. So that's understandable now. Uh, from what JP says, and I'll put a screenshot of the tweet on the screen, Ryan Jackson in centre-back, in a back three. What is going on? <laughs> what? Uh, he might be wrong. JP might be wrong. But if so... I genuinely do not understand how Wade Elliott wakes up in the morning and thinks, yeah, if Ryan Jackson, yeah, a great wing back, great old running down the wing, let's play him centre back. It's not, not quite what I, uh, I, I travelled just over three hours for today, but there you go. Uh, Keener and Maystar, there's positives. Bond Stars, Cycle Stars, Perry Stars, solid midfield. Um, so other, other than the whole Jackson thing, it's pretty solid. Mr. Cromwell, the connoisseur of football knowledge. I've got it, we're back again. Fat to say he's in the away end. Find the base and a pizza twist, we're back again. Um, any predictions? Yeah, well I've got to stay true to what I said over there. 2-1 up to us. Pina, in the 90 plus 5, scores, takes his top off, goes in the away end and I get on telly. I think he's off his head. I think... 1-1 one, one and we lose on penalties. <laughs> That was going to happen. Oh, hey, that, that is a mental prediction from you. <laughs> Let's go to kick off. Jinxed us now. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, okay. <laughs>
dangerous. That's dangerous. What a save! I don't know if I got a nail chat I have no idea how. I mean, they've had a disallowed goal. I, I haven't, I, I'll be honest, I haven't got to the bottom myself of, of why. Literally can't comment on, 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 the, on the, the disallowed goal, to be honest. Luke South has been unbelievable. Uh, I've said it for months, we'd be in trouble with that. And, and he's proved it in this game because we should be 3 0 down. Uh, he's been unreal. I think we've had our chances. The game is open, but it's just we don't. We don't seem to be able to unlock it at the moment. Um, I think the only thing that can be said by Wade at half time is just try and dictate the game with our play a bit more. And it's 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 far easier said than done. Right. Do you want to see something else which makes you want to cry? Not particularly. Let's go to the second half. <laughs>
Full time. Um, uh, we lost on fans. Last football. Um, oh, it's so tough, isn't it? It is so tough. But last football. Uh, and at the end of the day, we've played a very strong one of side. They're where they are in the league for a reason. They're where they, they, they've got to this stage in the competition for a reason. And you've got to respect them. Uh, and at the end of the day, we we battled hard. Uh, and we matched them. And, and, and we, we did we did very, very well to take them to Bands. We had no right to. And I think, you know, you, you, every credit to Plymouth because they deserve to be in the final, um, if I'm being honest. But to, to the players, to the staff, now we go again. We've got to go again. We've got big games coming up. And it's so, so tough. But we have to bounce back. We've got to keep going. Plymouth, enjoy your final. It's deserved. Enjoy the celebrations tonight. Deserve, like I say, top fan base. Best of luck for the rest of the season. Tough one, last football. Have a class rest of your day. I'll send the next one.